Swiss authorities have announced sanctions against Falcon Bank, which they say handled about 3.8 billion US dollars of 15.2 billion ringgit of funds linked to 1MDB. The Financial Market Supervisory Authority of Finma wrapped the Zurich-based lender today for breaching money laundering regulations. It ordered Falcon Bank to surrender 2.5 million Swiss francs in illegal profits and ban it from entering into business relationships with foreign politically exposed persons for three years. It also warned that it would yank the bank's license if it breaches regulations again. Meanwhile, in Singapore, the central bank, MAS, has ordered Falcon Bank Singapore branch to shut down, also for serious failures in anti-money laundering controls and improper conduct by its senior management. This follows the arrest of Falcon Bank Singapore branch manager last week. In addition, Mas also imposed fines amounting to 4.3 million Singapore dollars for breaching 14 of the central bank's regulations. MAS says Falcon Bank demonstrated a persistent and severe lack of understanding of its anti-money laundering requirements and expectations. It also fined Singapore's largest bank, DBS, 1 million Sing dollars and UBS, 1.3 million Sing dollars for breaching the anti-money laundering rules. These two banks, as well as Falcon Bank, have come under scrutiny for fund flows related to 1MDB. In May, BSI Bank Singapore was shut down for similar breaches in the same case. Malaysia Airlines Berhad is expecting to double its passengers from China over the next 18 months. China is currently the national airline's largest market, according to Group CEO Peter Bellu, accounting for 5% of its capacity. Bellu also said Malaysia Airlines plan to increase its flight frequencies to Beijing and Shanghai and will be announcing significant expansion plans in the next month or so. Earlier today, Malaysia Airlines had signed a three-year partnership agreement with Liverpool FC to become its official global airline partner. Bellu remarks that the tie-up would help the airline's branding in China, where the club has around 40 million followers. In terms of cost, Bellu said that it stands at less than 10% of Malaysia Airlines' annual advertising and marketing budget. Telco giant Axiata Group Berhad is not ruling out the possibility of a minor stake sale in its operating companies overseas to raise capital and reinvest in higher potential businesses. Should an opportunity for such an exercise appear though, Axiata says it will maintain a controlling stake in these companies. Currently, Axiata is present in eight countries across Asia. President and CEO Tan Sri Jamaluddin Ibrahim says Axiata has no desire to leave any of these countries because it plans to be a long-term investor in these markets. Media reports in September said that Axiata was looking at monetizing some of its foreign operating companies to pay the group's liabilities. Many are finding it hard to own a house, especially in this day and age. That's why Bank Negara Malaysia says Policymakers should make a priority to develop broader alternatives to home ownership, and this should be supported by a well functioning rental market. The central bank says this need to develop alternative options shows that poorly designed incentives to increase home ownership are to blame for today's housing woes. Alternatives, says Bank Negara, will provide a viable route to help low income early career individuals onto a path towards eventual home ownership. It says better enforcement is also critical to prevent the abuse of schemes intended to assist specific household segments to own or rent their houses. It's the end for the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 that is. In an unprecedented move, Samsung says it will permanently stop selling the Fablet after trying for an entire month and failing to fix the issue of the device catching fire. This was after recalling 2.5 million units of the Note 7 shortly after the handset went on sale in August. The South Korean electronics giant said it was doing so as its customer safety was its highest priority. Owners are expected to be able to either return their phones for a refund or exchange it for a different Samsung phone. The drastic news saw investors wiping off nearly 19 billion US dollars in Samsung electronics market value as its shares slumped by 8%, the biggest daily percentage decline since 2008.